Hey guys, Renny here with Off Guard Trek. Uh, I, want, I took the opportunity to come out. We've got a, uh, it looks like winter starting for us, starting tomorrow. Um, so I came out for the night just to get away from the city, clear my head, enjoy, enjoy the mountains and the beauty and what have you. But either way, I wanted to go over something. I get asked this a lot. Um, our 220 uh, watt solar blanket for bug out use with our bug out kit, which is the bag right down here versus the 300 watt. So we offer both options. Um, and a lot of people, like I'll ask the question, do you want to use it on the windshield of your vehicle? So I'm going to show you the sizes of both of these. Um, well, you can see them right here. I'm going to show you our 220 watt and our 300 watt laid out on the windshield of the vehicle. They're going to be a bit stiff because it was well below zero last night. Uh, and everything is literally just thawing out. I was waiting for the frost to get off the windshield before I could do this video and it just did that. But first and foremost, size difference, okay? So these are them folded away. That's our 220 watt solar blanket, 13.6 pounds. Folds up, as you can see, literally to the size of a laptop. So same as a 300, it's gonna have an Anderson SB connector. We use these because you cannot reverse polarity. You can get dirt in them, water in them, uh, step on them, and they're gonna be fine. They're gonna work well. Waterproof cover. And then underneath here, we have two USB ports, a DC5521 round barrel port, and a Type-C. The Type-C is where you could actually, um, a newer laptop, a MacBook, something along that lines. A lot of the new phones that are coming out are USB Type-C, and you could charge directly from the back of that. So now the 300 is going to have the same. So, here's the difference. Here's your 300, just a little bit thicker. Literally the same... Um, Diameter wise all the way around literally the same. I think it's just off by about a half inch or so um, But just a tiny bit thicker. That's it right there So the difference between these two with efficiency rating as well too. This is 24 and a half percent This is 24.1 percent. So it's just a touch more but still both Better than anything else on the market because we use Sun Power Gen 3 solar cells So I'm gonna lay these out here real quick um, I'm gonna start with the big bulky one here first so let me just set this down so it's out of the way. And like I said, this is, this is going to be a little bit stiff because it's still a bit frozen. But here is the 300 watt. And I'm just going to show you on the windshield of a vehicle, okay? So let me push this over here. Now this one's going to be a bit longer than our 220. Okay, let's just flip that over again. A little bit stiff because it's cold. It is what it is. So again, if you're wanting to use these on the windshield of a vehicle, we are going to recommend our 220 watt solar blanket over the 300. I'll open this one up now and place it over top and then you'll see the, um, the difference. Now granted, not everybody's going to have a snorkel. So, but you will find that the flaps on either side of the solar blanket are going to kind of fold over a little bit. So depending on your sun exposure, you might not get the full sun exposure. So here we go. This is the 220. And already you can see the difference here. Again, just as stiff. Oops, so let me just do this. Push that out of the way. Here we go. There, I'll give you... That is your difference in physical size. So we basically designed um, our 200s, our 215s, and our 220-watt solar blanket along with our 120 specifically for use on a windshield. When we started this business, it was all about overlanding, which is this type of setup with my forerunner here. However, with, um, to be politically correct, our interesting times, a lot of people are wanting portable, deployable power. So that's why... Uh, our, our solar blankets are quite popular but again i just wanted to show you the difference here and you're looking at here's the difference between the 220 you got six more panels with the 300 watt underneath so each of these do have sorry it's just sliding down here a little bit let me just put it back in place just everything's slippery because it's got a bit of moisture on it um each of these do have reinforced grommets. So if you're not going to use it on the windshield, you could hang it. So that's not a problem to do that. But yeah, this is, uh, that's the difference between our 220 and our, our 300. These are our two most, most po popular solar blankets that we do sell. And like I said, we do have bug out kits. That's this right here. And that includes um, a solar charge controller, alligator clip cables, and an extension cable so that you can power... For an example, I've got a, I was running the diesel heater last night because like I said, it was below zero. It was quite chilly. 
Um, so I use the, that to power the diesel heater. So now that I'm done with that, I can actually use the bug out kit to physically power that back up. Or if I wanted to, I could use the bug out kit to run the battery in my Forerunner. Let's say it's a hot summer day and I've got a portable fridge freezer plugged into the cigarette lighter plug in. It's running off the battery. The battery then is being charged by the solar bug out kit. And again, um, part of the reason that these are quite popular, like I said, the 220 is a little bit smaller, but we're using a new material with our 300. So our 300 is actually lighter, but that's it. I'll bring it up to you guys. That's the 220 right there. That's, that's it for size. 13.6 pounds, folds up to the size of a laptop. Let me do the same with the 300 here. So I'll just fold this guy up if it wants to. We're stuck. There we go. And by the way, when you fold these up, it's basically the opposite of how you've uh, how you've unfolded it. And, and where we are filming right now, guys, we are near the end of October, and we're in Canada. That's why the snow's coming. But yeah, that's it. 13.2 pounds, just a touch bigger. But if you're looking for, um, we call it our bug out kit because um, literally if you had to get out of Dodge for any reason, civil unrest, what have you, think how little space that takes and look how much power that you have if you want to utilize that to power a portable power station or solar generator, whatever you want to call it power your vehicle so you don't have to have the engine running to keep devices being powered up um, multiple devices yeah so that that's why we we did this but again i just wanted to show the physical size difference so you guys see both are excellent products both will work really well for you both work better than pretty much anything else on the on the market besides power film on how well they work in low light conditions power film is going to be comparable we have videos showing our 220 watt in low light conditions against a power film 220 watt literally the same output but the difference being is we are half the price and four times the physical footprint smaller which is a big bonus as well too um, other than that guys have a great rest of your day we do have stock any questions definitely uh, reach out to me my name is Renny I'm the owner of the company I'd be happy to answer your questions we do custom packages all the time in fact I'm heading back I had three phone calls I have to, today alone on Saturday I need I've got three different custom packages with customers that had called on Friday that I'm putting together for them. Um, other than that, um, yeah, stay safe in these interesting times. And yeah, just remember, yeah, with everything going on, uh, it's a crazy world. You know, be there with your, your family and good friends. It's very, very important. Okay. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye then.